Let's finish out the first hour with Jewel in Kansas. Hey, Jewel, thanks for the phone call. You are live. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How can I help? My husband has severe plaque psoriasis, and oh, yeah. um, my husband is, I mean, one thing about him is he's always been um, anti-medicine, like yeah. prescription, so he's done only the ointment as far as medicine um, is concerned. He refuses to do any kind of yeah. injections, which is great. So I'm wanting to know what can we do to get it controlled. He's had it for seven to eight years, and I would say 75% is covered. Um, it's it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a horrible disease. I mean, you know, it, it feels bad. It looks bad. Uh, you, you develop a kind of inferiority complex. I mean, it's just a, it's a horrible thing. So from our point of view, uh, plaque psoriasis is caused by oxidative damage to the skin. And the skin has three different layers, three main layers. It has a number of different sub-layers, but three main layers. Uh, and it's oxidative damage to all three layers of the skin, actually. Oxidative damage is caused by uh, food and or substances in the world which are rich in a nasty substance called free radicals, free Radicals. The most common source of a free radical is an oxygen atom that has lost an electron. An oxygen atom that has lost an electron. And when an oxygen atom that's lost an electron is floating around your body, it becomes like metabolic Velcro and it sticks to anything it possibly can. And when oxygen sticks to something, whatever it sticks to becomes oxidized. And when things become oxidized, they become destroyed. It's exactly the same process that makes wine turn to vinegar, that makes food go bad, uh, that makes iron turn to rust, right? It's oxidative damage. It's everywhere all of the time. And it's such a, an overarching phenomenon in the world that physics, physicists have given it a name, uh, the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states everything tends to dissolution and decay. Everything tends to dissolution and decay, right? Everything gets old and dies. Everything does. Every, the mountains turn to dust, right? Everything gets old and dies. And one of the operative uh, forces in the destruction and dissolution of everything on planet Earth is oxidative damage, oxidative damage. So your husband's body has the lion's share of oxidative stress, oxidative damage. And usually in the human body, uh, the main vector of free radical infiltration into the body is oil and fried food. Oil and fried food. Now, there are ten foods that we've discovered that nobody should eat. And to a certain degree, they all promote oxidative damage. So we recommend elimination of ten foods completely. Ten foods completely. Uh, and if he does that, he'll go a long way towards reducing the amount of uh, free radicals that uh, go into the body every day. Number one, that's very important. Number two, he has to strengthen his body's fire department because the fire department of the body is what's responsible for putting out the fires of inflammation. And everybody's body has a weakness. Some people it's their heart. Some people it's their left knee. Some people it's their right kidney. Some people it's their skin. Some people it's their lungs. Everybody's body has a built-in weakness, which is, in fact, inherited. That's real genetics. You have an inherited weakness in your body. Apparently, your husband's inherited weakness is his skin. And so oxidative damage shows up in his skin more off, you know, more than it does for somebody else. So to strengthen the fire department of his body, the recommendation is easy. It's